Hi, hope you're well. Today I appear with one of your favorite series, Teen Titan Go. This series is the most favorite animated series of 2023. This animated series was a little bit based on the 2003 TV series, Teen Titans. Hope you guys are also crazy to watch them in real life. So without further ado, let's check it out. Number one, Raven. Raven is one of the most favorite characters of the series Teen Titan Go. Out of five Titans, Raven is the only one whose characterization in Teen Titans Go TV series remains faithful to that of the original 2003 series. As both are portrayed as seemingly emotionless, quiet, intelligent, speaking in a monotone, studious, and sarcastic goth girl. Inherited from her atrocious father, Trigon, Raven's demonic abilities make her an extremely powerful member of the Titans, but also an unstable one. Raven is voiced by Canadian-American actress Tara Lynn Strong. Here is the real Raven in real life. Wow, she has much the same look as she does in the series. However, look at this one. Wow, it's just unbelievable. So cute, isn't it, in real life? Look closely, her black lipstick, eyes, hair, and nail makeup make her a perfect raven. Oh, she probably likes to catch up with her beauty on camera. Although we know it's a girl's natural habit, what's your opinion? Can you lip read what Raven's actually saying? Comment in the comment section. Next, number two, Robin. Robin is another favorite character of this series and is the team leader of the series Teen Titan Go. He's arguably the worst of the Titans as he's paranoid, psychotic, immature, and usually the worst behaved than the others, something that his original 2003 counterpart would never do. Robin enjoys being the team leader and is willing to do anything to ensure his position remains the same. Robin is voiced by American actor Scott Menville. She's probably got a secret plan with Dr. C. Now let's look at our real life Robin here. He's actually a beautiful man. Look, but I think he is sad. But why? Is he also paranoid and tense in real life? Um, I think he's gonna pose for taking a selfie as Raven took. Look at this one. Here's Robin ready to fly. I think he needs to go in a hurry to save the world from danger. What do you think? However, Robin is most likely the same look as in real life. Wait, there's some differences between hair. Which one looks the best? One or two? Robin also likes to dance. Next, number three, Starfire. Starfire is the most favorite character in the series. The audience's second choice is Starfire after Raven. Starfire is described as an optimistic, eager, fearless, sweet, and beautiful girl who loves to see the joy around her and enjoys spreading love and happiness around the tower. She's very kind and is known for telling the truth unless it is to help a friend. Her team leader Robin has a well-established crush on Starfire. Starfire was voiced by American actress Hinden Walsh. Let's see Starfire in real life. Isn't she more beautiful in the series? Look at her straight hair, dress, and green eyes. I'm sure she's doing some magic to someone. Oh man, it's a crushable pick of her. That's a big reason for Robin to crush on her. Do you also crush on her? From this angle, she is the cutest adorable look. Really so pretty. Here she has gone out of the world to save the world. Um, it's not actually space. Maybe it's a background picture. Next, number four, Beast Boy. For those who watch this animated series, one of the favorite characters is Beast Boy, and one of the main characters of this series. He has the power to assume the form of any animal and uses his powers to fight crime along with the rest of the Teen Titans. Although he is gifted with the ability to transform into an animal, Beast Boy usually prefers loafing around over saving the world. Beast Boy is the playful trickster of the group. He enjoys pulling pranks on people, but can't seem to tell when he's gone too far. His best friend in the series is Cyborg. Beast Boy was voiced by American actor Greg Kipps. Here is the Beast Boy in real life. He's almost the perfect Beast Boy, like in the series. What a match of them. Um, but there's a big difference between the series and the real life. His ear. Real Life Beast Boy has a normal ear, and the series has a big ear. It's noticeable. 
In this one, man, do you notice his teeth? Although it looks very evil and scary, it's perfect as Beast Boy. Who loves real life Beast Boy? From the closest, he looks amazing. Next, number five, Cyborg. Cyborg is the fifth character of the main five characters. He's also known as Victor Stone. Before his career as a cybernetic superhero, Victor Stone was a gifted football athlete, by far the best player on his high school team. He had a non-stop drive and was always striving for better. Even though he's entrusted with the extremely important job of protecting Jump City, Cyborg usually takes a lethargic, lazy approach to his assignment. Nothing in the world pleases him more than pizza, burgers, pie, and kicking back with Beast Boy. He is voiced by American actor Kerry Payton. What? What? This is Cyborg in real life, a much better look. Although he's very lazy in his responsibility, in real life, he's looking very careful about his enemy. Who wants to fight with this Cyborg? Definitely you will lose to him. Kerry looks like a more attacking mode. It's like he will finish everything. Both of these cyborgs have no big difference as they look much the same. He is not a responsible person in real life. He's busy playing games. Next, number six, Jinx. Every story has a villain. Like in this series, she is a former villain. Jinx is an honorary Titan and a former villain. Prior to joining the Teen Titans, Jinx was a top student of the Hive Academy and the leader of the Hive Five. She is a girlfriend of Kid Flash. Jinx has proven herself to be very ambitious and a go-getter with a somewhat of a mean streak. Because of her goal to rise among the ranks of villains, she tries her best to be an effective hive. Jinx is also strong in her own personality, though even directly assaulting Rouge and releasing Kid Flash when Rouge taunted and mocked her, deeming her a pathetic failure and an embarrassment. Jinx was voiced by American actress Lauren Tom. Here is the real-life Jinx. What's the difference between real-life Jinx and the series Jinx? Do they look very close? Her hairstyle is amazing. Real-life Jinx is better than in the series. Wow, she also loves to dance, too. Next, number 7, Bumblebee. Bumblebee is a former leader of Titans East and a superhero in Teen Titans Go!, she made her first debut and cameo in Starliner. She temporarily becomes the sixth and newest member of the Teen Titans. Bumblebee is one of the cockiest characters. She can be a bit bossy with her teammates, but deeply cares for them. Bumblebee is also extremely intelligent, and she tries too hard. Bumblebee is positive, enthusiastic, and peppy, since she enjoys seeing the optimistic perspective, like Starfire. She is always hyped to join the rest of the Titans. She is voiced by American actress Oziyama Akaga. Hello, Death Loopers. It's Oziyama. In real life, she is an energetic bee woman, looking fresh and happy, but I'm sure she's ready to fight. Her skin brightness and her wings make her look more attractive. Do you want to become Bumblebee in real life? In this one, her wings look more beautiful and attractive, like Bee becomes a big, beautiful woman. She also loves to dance, like Jinx. 